So guys, for the first method, if you're using a wireless mouse, you want to consider replacing the batteries, or if your mouse comes with a charging device, you want to check if the charge is low. Now for the second method, you want to head over to search and type in mouse settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down and then click on additional mouse settings. And now once this comes up, you want to click on the pointers tab, and then you want to click on use default. And then click on apply, and then you want to click on pointer options. And on the selected pointer speed, you want to set your mouse speed to around the middle. So if it's on fast, just drag it to the middle. And if it's on slow, drag it to the middle. And then you want to untick enhance pointer position. And then click on apply. Another thing that you could try, you can untick hide pointer while typing. And then click on apply. See if that works for you. And now for the last method, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to expand mice and other points and devices. And then you want to find your mouse. You want to right click on it and then click on uninstall device and then click on uninstall. You want to uninstall all the mouse that you have. Now once you uninstall all the mouse drivers and you cannot use the mouse on your computer, you just want to unplug it from your computer and then plug it back in again, which should then install the drivers again. And then hopefully the problem should be fixed. But if not, you want to click on control, alt and delete on your keyboard. And then this will come up. And then you want to use the tab key on your keyboard, which will then bring you down to the power button. So keep on clicking on the tab key on your keyboard until you're on power. And then you will click on enter and then you want to use the down arrow keys and then click on restart using the enter key and now once you restart your computer your mouse will automatically install or if you would have plugged it back in earlier it would automatically install the drivers again and then the problem should be fixed